Hey everyone, my name's John and I'm bringing you another episode of Games in 60 Minutes. This is the stream where I pick random games out of my Steam backlog that I've never played before and I try them out for 60 minutes. Um, and then I end the stream by, uh, you know, kind of talking about what my first impressions are of the game and uh, then I will randomly pick the next game in my list. So tonight, episode 34, my 34th game that uh, I am trying out, out of my backlog, and this is called Camera Obscura. Uh, so, uh, obviously haven't played it, don't know that much about it, but I do know that it's a puzzle game. I, I uh, we watched, the, watched the trailer from the last episode, um, and uh, so it looks kind of like a platformer uh, with kind of a puzzle element to it. So... Um, but it looks like a pretty simplistic game. This is only $2 uh, in the Steam store, and that's like normal price. So uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot given the low, you know, the low price point. Um, obviously, this isn't a AAA game, so, you know, I think... Uh, but I think that's fine as long as you kind of just adjust your expectations accordingly, right? Um, you know, but, you know, I, what I appreciate about this series and the complete randomness of it is that I never know what I'm going to play. And I, you know, it, it gives me an opportunity to play games that I might have overlooked otherwise. So, so we are going to check this out. Hi, Slytherin Chick. Good to see you. Hope, uh, hope you're having a good evening. I, we are just about to get started. Let's get this switched over. And we are going to launch the game. There it goes. my sound. Kindiara. Uh, hello. So let's take a look here. So it looks like it comes with some achievements. I apparently, <laughs> I apparently got an achievement for launching the game. I like how there's a uh, 100 ISO. I, I like that there's a little bit of uh, uh, there's a little bit of camera humor in this. <laughs> um, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, there's actually like quite a few different achievements in here. Wow. Okay. So that's cool. All right. So we're gonna play. bad here this just sort of reminds me of like a I mean this kind of looks like something I would have played on the you know Super Nintendo um, you know I wouldn't call it like the greatest art but uh the tower that's all it was the tower a civilization's greatest triumph its most colossal failure and an eternal tombstone no one with any sense set foot near the tower, let alone ventured inside. And this is apparently picture one of 71. So I guess I'm supposed to collect these. So yes, yeah, so let's, uh, let us venture inside like a dummy. <laughs>
was weird. I saw a critter, but he was like sort of entombed where I couldn't get to him. And you don't seem to have any ability to like break blocks or anything like that. So, so far, this just seems to be purely jumping around. I wonder if I'm supposed to get up there. Oh, but then I can't get up here. Triggers are B to create an after image of your surroundings. This after image will follow you for a short time and is solid enough to walk on. Huh. Okay. Like I'm, 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 there it goes. It doesn't seem to always want to like, um, take the picture, you know, I, I guess it's kind of what you're doing, right? Like with the camera sound effect, but like when I'm clicking, it's not always, it's like I have to click it two or three times to get it to do what I want it to do. So I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong here, right? Cause I'm so, like, I'm trying to figure out, I guess I can't take a picture in midair. Oh, but see, I can't run up there in time. And that just made it slide back. Yeah, and see, I've got to get it. What I need to do is I need to get it, like, to hang there. That's what I was trying to do. Ah, okay, so I can... I can take the image and then jump and it follows me up. Okay, so that's good to know. Oh, except that then it gets in my way. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, there we go. That's annoying. Press right stick to move around. Okay. Got it. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm not supposed to fall. Okay, well, it was at least forgiving of my mistakes, so it didn't put me too far back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be doing this uh, a bunch. I, have, I haven't quite, I haven't quite figured out the, this mechanic yet. And that's not nearly enough room. See, I got to get... so close. That was so close.
Whew, okay. Finally made one. Her camera had been her constant companion ever since she was a little girl. Through this simple device, she could save those memories she liked and crop out the unpleasant bits. The ventilation shaft. Alright, it looks like I... supposed to just run across. Ah, but then I fall. Gosh. This is actually kind of, this is kind of tricky. Oh, man. See, I think what I got to do is I got to time it where Doing good at this at all. Okay. Like, it's very picky about where you do it, right? If you do it too far back, you fall off. And if you do it too far forward, you fall off. There we go. All right. See that? And the thing is, is you have to move, you have to be jumping at an angle. Because if you jump straight up, then your platform blocks you from actually getting up there. Right, you have to do that. Yeah, this is a tricky mechanic. The craters of the tower were as ingenious as they were reckless. It was a miracle the tower stood at all after so many centuries of, of abandonment given how thoroughly they crisscrossed the mountain with their digging. <laughs> sounds like, uh, sounds like us playing, uh, Seven Days to Die. <laughs> All the digging. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. So I'm sure this is another angle trick. Oh, great. <laughs> now I have to... Why to dismiss flashed tiles? Okay. I don't quite understand what that means, but I, I, I reckon I'm going to figure it out. Oh, I see it. it that's how to uh, get rid of your after image. Okay. So that's pretty cool. coming to the tower was probably a mistake. 
not for the danger to her life, which she had blithely faced many times, but for the danger to her heart, which she had only, which she had faced only once before, when he had asked her to choose. Okay. I, I guess this is the how we're getting the story in little drips and pieces. Which the only thing that sucks is if you miss any of these photographs and you're kind of missing out on the story, so it kind of forces you to be careful. I'm not real certain where I'm going at this point. Oh, I see. I got to get over there. Okay. Uh, this, this looks like it's going to be a pain. All right. Oh, that one too bad. I guess I'm starting to get a little more used to this mechanic now, so it's not quite as bad as it was. Dried well. Okay. Most people would probably be afraid of being down in the bowels of the earth alone, but she wasn't. She'd always been alone, comfortably alone, until he'd offered an alternative. Was she coming here anyway? What was she hoping to gain? She knew this place was a tomb, a home only to the dead. Okay, so I guess I got... I guess I got past the first batch of levels. Oh gosh, you know what? I just realized I forgot to start my stupid timer again. Give me one second. I can just like every other episode. All right, well, we gotta do timer. So I think we've been playing about 15 minutes. So we're going to put the old timer on 45. All right. All right, well, let's... Uh, I do like that they have a kind of a level select. So I guess that way you don't have to keep replaying these if you're just trying to, like, get to the finish. Oh, now, did you see that? We, we got a critter now. Tunnel slimes haunted the ruins and dark places of the world, sucking scum and decay from the floors. Were it not for the lethally toxic ooze they secreted, they'd almost be kind of cute. This is a 10 of 71. So I love it. Camera Obscura, the story told in 71 parts. So I'm assuming that you just die if you touch these things. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dramatic death. Did you see that dramatic death animation? Oh. <laughs> All right. And this is definitely not Mario. You're not jumping on top of the slimes to kill them. You just gotta dodge him. Oh, I can I can already see where this is gonna get annoying here in a minute. Oh, interesting. So the slime, the slimes also follow you on your after image. 
So whatever you can jump on, they can be on. Oh, look at that. Check out that bat. We got more critters. Oh, and we got a button. Look at all this. That was so good. Ah! I did not see it in there. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. I jumped too soon. Ruined. Okay. Gosh dang it, I forgot the... I'm making such dumb mistakes right now. Yeah, all you gotta do is go the other way. Now I can get my story bit. There were some smells, sadly, that even centuries of abandonment cannot get rid of, but no indignity was too much to bear for a chance at absolution. all again, aren't you? I completely forget how to play. It's like like the last, you know, 10 minutes of oh gosh, dang it. I was so close. start me back at the beginning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Invisible Checkpoint God. kind of a tricky uh this is kind of tricky 
shattered staircase. Cursed, haunted, whatever you call it, the fact that the tower remained standing for so long after its inhabitants vanished was an enigma few ever dared to explore thoroughly. So yeah, I can def- obviously, as you saw, like, I can jump, it's just the trick is some of these spots, they don't give you any- any clearance to jump, right? So it's a little, it's a little tricky. They they definitely like to constrain your uh, your movement. The tower wasn't a building so much as an entire city turned on end. They were pro there were probably all sorts of rare treasures and antiques to find, but all she truly cared for was reaching the top. Dang 
it. You're gonna send me all the way back, aren't you? I wonder if I can shortcut from here. Let me see something. Okay, so I can at least shortcut this part. You can double photo um, because when you when you hit the photo button again, it just it, it'll take a new it'll take a new photo and then uh, it overwrites the old one at that point. So like here, I'll take a picture. And then I'll take another picture, right? It just, it just overwrites the whatever you had before. Okay, so try something different here. And the other thing is, is it does not let you take a photo in the air. That's the other annoying part. So I can't like jump in the air and then take a photo and have it. Like, you, you have to be standing still in order to do it, so that makes it trickier. Oh, the slime's gone. I don't know what happened there, but I am uh, grateful for the assistance. At least now I can kind of experiment. See, I think... Okay. I think I'm not getting maximum height as part of my problem. I think I need to delay just a hair. Oh, come on! was so close. Okay, I think I know. There, finally. Wow. That one was really tricky. Until I started falling down, but there was a there was a photo like up at the top at the top right. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff in these levels. Like they're like you're supposed to go back and replay them because there's a lot of there's like a lot of little details. 
levels that, uh, or not a lot of details, but like, it seems like every one of these levels, like, it's giving you, like, multiple paths to go through. And, uh, is something, like, generating these things? Because y'all are getting pumped out, like, crazy. As much as the crumbling staircase looked like a death trap waiting to happen, she knew it would only get worse once she got further inside the tower proper and began ascending. Forgetting the slimes move with you, right? You can't, you can't, uh, you can't get rid of them. Us. Now that was, that part was just dumb. That was me being dumb. And again, being dumb. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Let's try this. So, I wish I could go through this tunnel. <laughs> like a half a second too slow. Ah, oh, dang it. get so bunched up together it's like I don't want to risk like you know jumping over like 12 of them at once and they're like perfectly spaced out too okay maybe I'll hit magical invisible checkpoint god here soon the end of the level. Okay, that works. Now see again, see that tunnel to the right of the door? It's like that's another case of there was probably some secret here or something. Okay, now we got doors doing stuff. not going that way. Oh, but then this door shut. Well, what the heck am I, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Ugh. All right, so yeah, I can see this is, uh, I definitely, I definitely can't go this way. Definitely can't go this way. I guess I'm gonna have to just kill myself because there's just no uh, there's no way through that. So it seems like yeah, oh, it's your time. Okay, I see what's going on. There's a button 
that the slime is hitting, right? So I'm on a I'm on a schedule here. I can't dally. And that's weird. I don't see how so I got all the way to the end of the level and there was no way to get up to that top that top part at all that I saw. Some of these levels are definitely kind of confusing because I can't tell if it's like I'm missing secrets or if it's just you're not supposed to go up there, you know? I don't know. Scavenger moles, known as ruin rats by those familiar with the forgotten places of the world, were fairly docile and oblivious, but reacted extremely violently to being touched. The slow, blind, snuffling beast transformed into a whirl of fangs and claws at the slightest provocation. All right, so don't touch the things. What am I going to do? I'm going to touch the thing. All right, dramatic death. <laughs> I needed to see the dramatic death animation. That was a lot of backstory for something that just basically has the exact same mechanics as the slime. You touch, you die. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep dodging. these things all right we have dodged enough rats to get through the level now we're in the, the cellar storage a trick I didn't realize you can you can take uh, you can you can take a camera shot while you're standing on an after image and get a boost from where you're at right I didn't realize I didn't realize you could do that um, so that's gonna probably make some things a little bit easier the tower was the ultimate expression of the sun sects faith even those in the crowded, misty bowels of the tower considered themselves blessed, nearly beyond reasoning, to be living and working in the sex masterpiece. How then it came to be abandoned virtually overnight was the subject of much debate. So if I'm going off of the numbers... Oh, that's what, that's what I meant by double photo. I gotcha. All right. Hell, right now I can't even manage a single photo. <laughs> We got through another batch of levels. I have to say, it's really interesting. Th this mechanic, it for such a simple mechanic, it definitely kind of lends itself to a lot of different stuff. Oh, now we got moving platforms.
a testament to craftsmanship. The geothermally powered machines the tower far outlast the people that had built them, continuing to run their routines and tasks long after anyone was around to use them. Weddings and summits and retirements had she photographed, shielded from their joy by her lens. How often had she let the smiles and laughter pass right by her as she waited patiently for the perfect moment, trading minutes and hours of real life for that perfect fraction of a second to immortalize on cellulose. And perhaps most importantly, why had none of this bothered her before this moment? trying to figure out the trick to getting up there and maybe I'm maybe I'm not meant to get up there from here that could be part of it ah <sighs> oh, dang it I accidentally double pressed the photo thing It didn't take the picture when I... I've noticed this with this game, like, every once in a while, it doesn't actually click when you click the, when you pull the trigger. Or there's a little bit of a delay in it. I'm trying to get the timing just right so that I can... See, I gotta... Yeah, I'm doing it too soon is the problem. Because what I need to do is I need to take the picture have a small delay and then jump. Like that. <sighs> All right. I don't think I'm capable of that. So we're going to move on. Now that's interesting. So this tells me that there is definitely multiple photographs on the same level, which I suspected, but I hadn't seen that up until now. I meant 
want to go that way either. I guess I'm supposed to go to the right. Like, up here. take a photo, you don't get the after image of the gray stuff, which actually makes it really annoying. Oh, jeez, how do I get... Was a trick was I had to do it in midair so that it would move down as I as I landed. A second chance, she dared not even think it. As tantalizing as an idea as it was, could any graveside absolution possibly breach the fortress of regret she'd erected around her heart? This is so dramatic. She thought she hoped so. We got, some, we got some real fan fiction level writing going on right now. Oh, and I just realized that was so there's nothing else up here. I thought this was like going to be a way to progress, but it's not. I'm kind of back to square one again, right? Now I'm back to figuring out. Because I either need to figure out, see, I, I either need to figure out a way to progress over here, but there's no. Maybe if I bring that over enough? dramatic or are we just jaded <laughs> yeah that's a fair I, I suppose that's a fair question I uh it's hard not to be jaded in the year 2020 
Okay. I at least made it up here. That got me up. Yeah, here we go. At last, progress. start getting tricky again, right? Oh, man. Because you can't jump. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to, I need to, I do need to do another ch uh, picture in midair thing here. Oh, but that's obnoxious. I wasn't counting on the ceiling being a pain in the ass. I don't... I'm not real sure where else to go. It's like my... my each level takes me longer and longer to get through because I'm like having to really figure this stuff out. I just gotta play, pray I don't touch these things. You stop. Right in the kisser. Alright, where did you put me? I guess I don't have to start over at least, but I can't figure out where I'm at. I seem to be down from where I was. It was a total accident, but I'll take it.
can just run around this guy. Since there's only one, yeah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, got another photograph. Where nature failed them in their quest ever upwards, the sunset turned to industry, shoring up metal where the mountain stone had faltered. Refined as pure as their faith, the sex metalwork maintained the same mirror shine as the day it was cast. Oh, and that was the door. I didn't even realize that was the door. Okay. So I got one more, uh, one more level out of the way. Parishioner's Skylight. All right, so we're not going that way. Time is up. Can I get up here? Let's try this again. I just gotta figure out the timing. Okay. close all right well at least i made it to the end of that level so i think i will go ahead and stop here right, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this so yeah looks like i made it through about so i made it through like two these seem to be divided up into like it looks like groupings of 10 levels. So it looks like I got through about 25 or so levels, which I guess isn't all that bad for 60 minutes. Hmm. So... So what did I think of of that game? You know, I guess kind of some mixed feelings. I mean, I think um, the the puzzle aspect of it was actually pretty interesting. It's it's like it it's a little bit of a gimmick, but yet it there's a surprising amount of depth from playing that right like it um i mean i guess what i mean is that like it didn't maybe maybe if i played it a few more hours it might start wearing on me but like i like it, it for for the fact that this game had all of like two controls to it i didn't find it um 
I wasn't really getting bored of it. I guess it's a little bit kind of, you know, you think a little back to, I guess, games like Mario, right? The platformers and, you know, they only had a couple of controls and they managed to make it pretty, pretty entertaining. So I think what I would say is definitely from like a level design aspect, I thought that I thought this game did good. Um, the writing, eh, you know, I feel like I feel like whoever made this like I kind of feel like maybe somebody made this. You know, this seems like something Sony made like in school, maybe. Uh, and I don't I actually don't mean that as an insult. It's just that. But just between like the kind of like not real high production values and the writing, it's kind of, you know, it, it's not what I call professional writing it wasn't bad story, but like, I just, I just kind of feel like some, you know, like this seems like a, a game, maybe some kid made and for what it is, it's actually really good. That's the thing. I, you know, I, I, uh, I'm actually really kind of impressed from a, like a one guy probably made this game and, you know, did it, you know, as a hobby or whatnot. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, and here's the other thing. It's a, it's a buck 99, right? So for what you're getting, I think it's perfectly fine. Like, you know, you're not this again, you, you can't, you can't really try to judge this on the level of like, uh, you know, a triple a AAA game. Oh, that's, you know, that's a good question. Is this from, you know, I don't, you may, you may have a point because I was looking when we, when we looked at this, right. When we played the trailer from the last episode, I, I remember seeing Japanese writing on the store page. So, you know, you may, that's a good point. It may not be so much that the writing is subpar, but maybe the translation's not the best. That's a, yeah, that's a good point. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, but yeah, overall, um, I think I'm going to end up giving this one a smile a little. It's, it's, uh, I wouldn't, I don't feel like this is a strong recommendation, but I think, again, for the price you're paying and for what you're getting, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, I don't know that this is one I'm going to be in a, a big rush to ever go back and play. I wasn't that into the story. Um, I'm a sucker for a good story, but this one was kind of like I, I wasn't this didn't pull me in the way some some stories do. So, uh, so yeah, I think, uh, but I still think, I, I still think it was good enough to recommend it, you know, as a value, you know, it's kind of a value platformer game. Cause again, that it, it's that mechanic, right? The whole camera mechanic does give it a, a, you know, it's, it makes it a little bit more than just jumping around. And I like the fact that, you know, there's no weapon, right? Like you got it, you know, you're not, you're not killing stuff, right? You, you know, you're either dodging stuff or you got to be real clever. And here's the thing. I'm not, I was not very good at this game, right? Like there's so much, like you can tell there's so much more that you should be able to do. And if, so, you know, I would be really curious to watch a stream of like somebody who's actually really good at this game, because I think it would be far more entertaining than my playthrough. Um, to be to be honest, like seeing somebody who was good because you saw little things near the end, like like that part where like I knocked a couple of monsters off completely by accident. I didn't know what I was doing, but it's obvious that like somebody with skill playing this game can do some really good stuff. The other thing I saw, this game has an editor. So the other thing I get, I get the feeling there's probably like a, a community of people that are probably like putting out levels for this and are probably really good. Um, so. I think, uh, and that's another reason why I think, you know, for $2, um, it's probably, it's probably w worth looking into if, if, you know, if that's your kind of game, right? Like, I think you could actually get a lot of play out of this if, if you're into that. My problem is, is I'm not, I'm not good enough to give this, to do this game justice, right? I'm not a, I'm not a real good platformer. So, you know, I can't really completely showcase this, I think, the way it deserves to be showcased but i still i you know i think that that's still enough to get a good sense of what you can do in the game so uh definitely glad to have the chance to play that one um so i think on that note why don't we figure out what our next game is going to be what's on tap for friday Oh, wow. Coder 2. Actually, you know what? I feel bad. I should have taken this out of my list. I have played this game 
and I don't feel right having the whole point of this is I'm supposed to be playing stuff I've never played. So this was actually in my in my list by mistake. I feel bad, too, because this is a good game, but it kind of goes against it, it goes against uh, the intent of my stream, which is I'm supposed to play stuff I've never played. So I'm going to I'm actually going to mulligan that and we're going to do uh, we're going to we're going to do this again. So I'm going to clear the board here. And let's uh, let's do this one more time. And I'm going to take that out of my out of my randomizer for the next time. Girls like robots. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna have to see what this is all about. Uh, so if you will bear with me for a moment while I bring up the store page, let's take. Let's take a look here. Um, what us girls like robots. All right, let's take a look at the store page. One on three. Casual Puzzle Indie Robots Adventure. I, You know, I've noticed my randomizer really likes picking the adventure games. Let's check out... Uh, let's have a look at the trailer for this. For ready for tomorrow I like to conjure up memories of the past Like chasing fireflies On a warm summer's night So long with memories that last so are your mamas and your papas Either one thing is done When you blow out your candles at night Make time go slow For the little ones you know It's the long, long memory that lasts Just picture the days With your young mind to blaze When the morning Take two days to pass Digging holes down to China Sing and blow your horn, Dinah It's the long loving memories that last So all your mamas and your papas Be the one thing you've done When you blow out your candles a game of feelings and entomology in space and volcanoes dance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is really strange. Uh, yeah, that is just, that's really strange. But it, it looks like it might actually be a pretty fun puzzle game. Uh, so I hope that, uh, I hope that it's good. It doesn't have many reviews, so... You know, it's a toss up, but it does seem like it's gotten of the people that reviewed it. It's pretty positive. So hopefully uh, this will end up being a pretty. Uh, pretty good game. So, yeah, tune in Friday night, 9 p.m. Central. I will be checking out Girls Like Robots um, and. Uh, you can always find me on Twitch, you know, give me a follow and I will uh, that's the best way to keep up with when I'm going to be streaming. My regular schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights at 9 p.m. And sometimes on the weekends uh, at random times, uh, you know, for like a bonus stream. So uh, definitely. But yeah, I appreciate the follows and appreciate everybody joining me tonight. So uh, I hope to see you next stream. All right. Good evening, everyone.